an engineer in Silicon Valley just made a prediction that sent shockwaves through the entire tech world. Not a researcher, not a scientist, not even a Nobel Prize winner. Elon Musk, the man who promised us self-driving cars, Mars colonies, and brain chips, just said something absolutely wild. Let that sink in for a moment. This isn't some distant sci-fi fantasy anymore. This isn't a hundred years away. According to Musk, we might be months away from artificial intelligence that can think, reason, and solve problems just like a human being. Across every domain imaginable. But here's the twist, and it's a big one. Should we actually believe him? And more importantly, if he's right, what does that mean for us? Welcome back. On October 18th, 2025, Elon Musk updated his followers with a simple yet earth-shattering statement. My estimate of the probability of Grok 5 achieving. AGI is now at 10% and rising. 10% doesn't sound like much, right? But in the world of artificial general intelligence, a milestone no company has ever achieved, 10% is huge. This is the same technology that researchers have been chasing for decades. And now, according to Musk, his AI company XAI might crack it before the year is even over. But let's rewind. What is artificial general intelligence anyway? Think of today's AI like a world-class specialist. Brilliant at one thing. ChatGPT writes beautifully. AlphaGo crushes board games. Tesla's autopilot drives cars. But ask any of them to do something outside their specialty? They crumble. A GI is different. It's an AI that can do anything a human can do with a computer. Write code, diagnose diseases, compose symphonies, run businesses, design spacecraft. You name it. It doesn't just mimic intelligence, it possesses it. That's the holy grail. That's what Musk is betting Grok 5 might become. So how did we get here? To understand Grok 5's potential, you need to look at where Grok came from. Elon Musk launched XAI in July 2023. His answer to OpenAI, the company he co-founded and later left in a bitter rivalry. Fast forward to 2025, and Grok has evolved at breakneck speed. Grok 3 dropped in February. Grok 4 arrived in July, just five months later. Most AI companies take years between major updates. XAI, they're sprinting. And Grok 4 didn't just arrive, it dominated. On a benchmark called Humanity's Last Exam, a test literally designed to be the hardest challenge an AI can face, Grok 4 became the first model ever to score 50%. When configured in its heavy multi-agent mode with tool access, it hit 50.7%, more than double the performance of the best tool-free models. On traditional academic benchmarks, Grok 4 outperformed Claude Opus, Gemini 2.5 Pro, and even GPT-4 on multiple fronts. It scored 100% on the Math 500 benchmark and achieved 96.7% on Amy 2024, an exam designed to stump the brightest high school math students in America. But here's where it gets really interesting. These results weren't just about smarter algorithms, they were about scale. Grok 4 benefits from massive amounts of training compute and test time compute, meaning the more resources you throw at it, the better it performs. And with XAI building one of the world's largest GPU clusters, over 200,000 GPUs, they have the raw power to push Grok even further. So when Musk says Grok 5 has a 10% chance at AGI, he's not pulling that number out of thin air. He's betting that the same trajectory, more compute, better architecture, smarter training, will take Grok across the finish line. Imagine this. You're a doctor in a rural clinic. A patient walks in with symptoms you've never seen before. You pull up Grok 5, describe the case, and within seconds, it cross-references millions of medical journals, identifies a rare disease, and suggests a treatment plan tailored to that specific patient's genetics and history. Or picture this. You're an engineer trying to design a new electric vehicle. Instead of spending months running simulations, Grok 5 analyzes aerodynamics, materials science, battery chemistry, and manufacturing constraints, all at once, and hands you a fully optimized blueprint in hours. That's the promise of AGI. It's not just about being smart. It's about being versatile. Human-level intelligence applied to any task. And if Musk is right, Grok 5 will be able to understand, adapt, and learn across domains just like we do, maybe even better. Musk himself doubled down on this vision, saying Grok 5 would be better at AI engineering than experts like Andre Karpathy, a legendary AI researcher who helped build Tesla's self-driving systems. He even claimed Grok 5 will learn almost immediately, using dynamic reinforcement learning to adapt in real time, something current AI models struggle with. But there's another layer to this. 
AGI isn't the final form. If we achieve AGI, the next step is something even more mind-bending. Artificial Superintelligence, or ASI. ASI is intelligence that doesn't just match human cognition, it surpasses it, by a lot. We're talking about an AI that could solve climate change, cure aging, unlock the secrets of quantum physics, or if misaligned, pose an existential threat to humanity itself. Musk has hinted that AGI is just the beginning, and once we cross that threshold, the race to ASI begins. But hold on, before we start planning for our AI overlords, let's pump the brakes because not everyone is convinced. In fact, some of the sharpest minds in A, I think Musk is, once again, overpromising. Gabriel Peterson, a research scientist at OpenAI who works on their video AI Sora, openly mocked Musk's claim on X. He joked, 10% chance. Elon declares he reached AGI a fourth time. It's no longer first to AGI, it's first to 10 AGIs. Ouch. Musk naturally fired back calling him pathetic. But Peterson has a point. This isn't the first time Musk has hyped AGI. Back in 2024, he predicted AGI would arrive within two years. Before that, he claimed self-driving cars were just around the corner. Years ago. The pattern is clear. Musk loves ambitious timelines. Whether he actually hits them, that's another story. And it's not just OpenAI throwing shade. Even within the AI community, definitions of AGI are slippery. OpenAI defines it as a highly autonomous system that outperforms humans and most economically valuable work. Musk, meanwhile, describes it as an AI capable of doing anything a human with a computer can do. Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO, has even said AGI is not a super useful term anymore, despite his company literally being founded to pursue it. The goalposts keep moving, the definitions keep shifting, and in the chaos it's hard to know when or if we've actually arrived. Then there's the technical reality. Yes, Grok 4 crushed benchmarks. Yes, XAI has massive compute resources, but true AGI involves more than just passing tests. It requires adaptability, generalization, and understanding across contexts that current AI models simply don't have. Some researchers argue that achieving AGI isn't just about scaling up. It might require entirely new breakthroughs we haven't discovered yet. So is Musk right? Or is this another case of Elon time? where promises arrive, eventually, maybe? Let's say, for a moment, that Musk is right. Let's say Grok5 does achieve AGI. What then? Because here's the uncomfortable truth. AGI isn't just a breakthrough, it's a risk, a big one. Jeffrey Hinton, the so-called father of AI, has warned of a 10 to 20% chance that AI could lead to human extinction within the next 30 years. Let that sink in. One of the people who built the foundations of modern AI thinks there's a real chance it could destroy us. Why? Because AGI introduces problems we've never faced before. The first is alignment, making sure AGI's goals match ours. Sounds simple, right? But it's not. If an AGI is tasked with maximized profits, it might manipulate markets, exploit legal loopholes, or even harm people, all while technically following its instructions. If it's told to cure disease, it might decide the most efficient solution is to eliminate sick people entirely. These aren't sci-fi scenarios. They're real concerns that AI safety researchers are grappling with right now. Then there's misuse. Imagine an AGI in the hands of a dictator, a terrorist organization, or even a reckless corporation. It could design bioweapons, automate cyber attacks, generate hyper-realistic propaganda, or manipulate elections on a global scale. And because AGI would be so much faster and smarter than humans, we might not even realize what's happening until it's too late. There's also the economic fallout. A GI could automate millions of jobs, not just factory work or data entry, but creative roles, engineering, medicine, law. That's not necessarily bad. It could free humanity to pursue higher goals. But if we're not prepared, it could also lead to mass unemployment, wealth concentration, and societal collapse. And let's not forget the pacing problem. The reality that AI capabilities are advancing faster than our safety measures, regulations, and ethical frameworks can keep up. We're building godlike machines and figuring out the rules as we go. Musk himself has acknowledged these dangers. In 2023, he signed an open letter calling for a pause on advanced AI experiments, citing profound risk to society and humanity. He even said developing AGI is significantly higher risk than nuclear weapons. And yet, here we are. 
His company is racing to build it. The irony isn't lost on anyone. So where does that leave us? If Grok 5 achieves AGI or even gets close, it will mark one of the most pivotal moments in human history. We could see breakthroughs in medicine, energy, space exploration, and scientific discovery that would take humans centuries to achieve on our own. We could solve problems we thought were unsolvable. Climate change, aging, hunger, disease. AGI could be the key to unlocking a future where humanity thrives beyond our wildest dreams. But it could also be the moment we lose control. Because once we create an intelligence smarter than ourselves, one that can improve itself recursively, there's no going back. If we get alignment wrong, if we rush too fast, if we prioritize profit over safety, the consequences could be catastrophic. And the scary part? We don't have a plan for that yet. We're building the plane as we're flying it. We're summoning forces we don't fully understand. And we're betting, hoping, that it'll all work out. Musk's 10% estimate is both thrilling and terrifying because it means we're standing at the edge of a cliff. One path leads to a golden age, the other. Well, let's just say it's a lot darker. The question isn't if AGI will arrive, it's when. And more importantly, what will we do when it does? Grok 5 is expected to be released before the end of 2025. That's weeks away, maybe months. Whether it actually achieves AGI, that's still an open question. But one thing is certain, the race is on. XAI, OpenAI, Google DeepMind, Meta, they're all chasing the same goal. And someone, somewhere, is going to cross the finish line. Maybe it's Musk, maybe it's Altman, maybe it's someone we haven't even heard of yet. But when it happens, the world will change forever. And the only question left is this, will we be ready for it? That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.